Okay guys, so I've owned a third gen Toyota Tacoma for a few months now and I've learned a few neat tips and tricks over my time with this truck that I thought I would share in this video. So as always guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see more crazy Alaskan content just like this. And without any further ado, let's jump into some secret tips and tricks of the Toyota Tacoma. So the first one I want to mention that we can talk about with the vehicle being off is this handy little button right here. Now what this button does is that it actually sets your tire pressure to whatever or your tire pressure sensor to whatever tire pressure you're running. So Toyota figured that a lot of people that own Toyota Tacomas and such will probably be off-roading with them or putting different tires on them that may not have the factory set toy or that may not have the factory set uh, tire pressure. So what that um, button just allows you to do is reset the PSI uh, kind of sensor so that if you are uh, running higher pressures or if you're running lower pressures, so if say you you know set your tire pressure to 15 PSI to go over sand uh, you know on a beach, you can set that lower pressure and then reset that light in there so that your dash isn't screaming at you saying that you know your um, you have low tire pressure. So that's a really cool feature I think a lot of people miss and you may not even see it. Right next to the front hood latch there is just over here the tire pressure reset or set button. A lot of people might not realize the actual use for is this little doohickey right here and uh, what this is actually for is it works in combination with this uh, channel right here. So wait so way down in here, you have a 12 volt power supply, as you guys can see right there. So basically what this piece right here and this channel serve to do is act as a routing system so that if you're running any cords, power cords off of that 12 volt power supply that's in the armrest, you have a proper place to hold that power cord and channel it through so you can charge phones or do whatever you need with it is this incessant beeping noise and uh, if you're tired of this noise whether you're in accessory mode or you are with your vehicle turned on uh, if your door is open or ajar as the vehicle likes to say if you just press this little button that makes that annoying noise go away it's pretty handy if you're in and out of your vehicle or if you're just leaving your door open to you know get some fresh air in or whatnot you here you can see here adjust it uh, you can actually adjust the brightness of your display display or screen, sorry for the focus, uh, by turning this left or right. And you might be able to hear an audible clicking noise there. And uh, that just basically allows you to adjust the brightness of the lighting in your dash. So not necessarily super applicable when your lights are turned off, but um, it does help with the adjustment of your brightness. So if you're doing a lot of low light driving or bright light driving, that might be useful to you as well. You're at the dash. Um, another quick feature, uh, aside from the brightness, is the bump mode. So if you just bump your steering stock, or sorry, not stock, but if you bump your uh, blinker stock, just like that, it will have kind of a bump mode where it temporarily flashes your uh, turn signals and funny enough if you do go to a dealer or a tuner you can actually have them adjust this so the stock uh, how it comes out of factory is three kind of flashes but you can actually um, have them switch it up to five blinks so if it takes you a little bit longer to merge or to uh, change lanes you can have the dealer um, switch this from three blinks to five. Personally for me the three works just fine but it is an option next time you're in getting an oil change or something you can have them change that over. It's really quick really fast but there is a bump mode that exists in the uh, turning stop. So the next one is for those people who have Toyota Tacomas that have a sunroof. If you have a sunroof you'll probably notice that uh, if you just hit the open button it will open as normal but there's a little bit of a gap back here. Hopefully you guys can see there. And if you hit the open button again, it opens it up completely. So I'm not 100% sure why Toyota chose to have this kind of two-staged um, sunroof, but they did. And uh, that's the way to open it up fully if you want. Here I actually don't have set up personally with this vehicle, but there is a way, and I will leave a link in the description to the exact video, for you to actually set up a custom screen uh, kind of screensaver 
on this screen. So if you turn your screen off, sorry, like that, and you have this system set up, it'll actually go to whatever image you've selected and you can have your screen off and have that picture showing or that image showing uh, right here on the display. Of course, whenever you're ready for the screen, just turn it back on, you know, do whatever you wanna do. And yeah, so that is the last kind of secret hack. I will link a video to that process because it is a little bit of a process that I have not undertook because uh, I didn't really have any pictures I wanted to just use here. And I honestly use my audio a lot or sometimes I'll use the apps system a lot. But if you ever want to turn it off, uh, turn off your screen, just go here, go to setup, and then screen off. And uh, yeah, so that is my few quick tips to the Toyota Tacoma third gens. They have a lot of neat hidden features. If you guys know anything about third gen Tacomas that you want to share in the description, feel free to. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. I know it's not too much or anything too crazy, but I thought that these were a few kind of secrets that the Toyota Tacoma had. And I know that a lot of people don't know of certain ones, especially the uh, reset or set light for the tire pressure. That one's kind of uh, hidden away. A lot of people don't know about that one. So I thought that this video would be, if nothing else, kind of useful uh, to you third gen taco owners and to anyone else that needs to know. So as always guys, God bless and I'm out.